This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Hey guys, I'm Eric. And I'm Grace. We're the Wandering Ravens. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Happy Christmas. <laughs> we are a couple of Americans currently on a multi-month adventure around the UK. This YouTube channel documents our British journey, and today our quest is leading us through the very colorful land of UK Christmas adverts. We've got our tea, we're feeling festive, it's time to turn on the holidays and turn on some adverts. But before we begin, make sure you click subscribe for weekly British culture content. All right, let's get started. We're kicking this thing off with an advert from Aldi. Talking the carrots. Carrots? <laughs> That's so cute. I think this is a good way to make vegetables look positive to children. <laughs> Kevin the carrot. I wouldn't think of carrots as being a festive thing. No. Pirates. With the Caribbean soundtrack. I like the hedgehog. <laughs> That's gotta be cold. Christmas without Kevin just wouldn't be the Ooh, what kind of cake is this? We got the NHS rainbow in the window. Probably Santa, eh? So festive. I love all the colors. E.T. <laughs> I love this Christmas feast. I just want to take a screenshot of this and recreate this exact all the Christmas foods. feast. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Hello, cat. Oh dear. There's a cat on the table. No, what? no, no. Oh, you don't need. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh. Next, we've got an advert from DFS, which I've never heard of before, so I'm yeah. not exactly sure what this is going to be advertising. Mm. <gasps> oh, Wallace and Gromit! I don't know who that is. <laughs> I still don't know what DFS is from this advert. I have still no idea. Sure. Are they a sheep farmer <laughs> or possibly a, a pasty Well, company? here's maybe a hint. In the heart above the logo, there's a there's a couch. So maybe I it's a furniture I thought it was store? an envelope. Oh, I think it's a couch. Okay, it could also be a meat pie. Oh my gosh, or a crown of sorts. Philip, oh. it's a crown. <laughs> All that to say, let us know what DFS sells. Um, but Wallace and Gromit is a pleasant surprise. We grew up watching these, so always always happy to see them. Mm -hmm. I would say this might be my favorite one so far, just because Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> it's very British. Next up, we're going to be reacting to an advert from Lidl. Which I believe is a direct competitor with Aldi, right? Is that how I the story goes? I think that's what we've heard. You guys can set us straight in the comments if that is not the case, but yeah. this is what we've heard. Another animated advert. COVID reference. Emotional gravy. <laughs> oh! I, did you, let's play that again. I think that was a jab at the Aldi carrot. Look at this. Oh! We don't need cutesy characters when carrots taste this good. And then the carrot has a face on it. <laughs> Ooh. Next up, we're going to be reacting to an advert from McDonald's. I'm curious, because I feel like the adverts for McDonald's in the States are always very flashy, very burgery and soda-ish. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be more classy? Right off, this is definitely the UK. Classic British street. So, it's a football club, but it's not our football. It's their <laughs> football. Oh, I miss Christmas markets this year. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with this kid? So he's just a angsty teenager. Some angsty teenager. Marty yeah. bum. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the hormones Sing going. Ever. Oh, but here it comes. McDonald's is gonna unlock the 
the childhood happiness for him, holiday happiness. If he's really going to be angsty, he should be like, Psh, I'll take salad, mum. <laughs> <laughs> like the rendition on Forever Young? Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, I liked that one! That was really sweet! Love the mom and son relationship in that one. That was so cute. Cute. Yeah, I didn't expect McDonald's to make me feel things, except for heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> On another note, something that we encountered when hunting down adverts for this video was that some YouTube videos were available in the USA, but not the UK. Especially anything to do with the BBC or Channel 4. If only there was a way to trick YouTube into thinking that we're actually in America. You guessed it, it's time to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. We've been using NordVPN for over two years now, and they've gotten us through a lot of difficult situations. Specifically those terrible nights when after hours of scrolling through Netflix I've realized, <gasps> Holy ding dong, Batman, there's nothing on British Netflix right now. In the past, this realization would result in a fitful night of tears and self-loathing. But now, Eric can simply put his arm around me and say, let's switch on NordVPN and see if Canadian Netflix has anything. <laughs> That was really cute. Yes, in case you didn't know this, most streaming sites look different depending on where in the world you access them from. So if UK, Hulu, or YouTube is missing a video that you love, just switch on your NordVPN and select a different country and it's likely that you'll be able to find it. Another geo-blocking problem that NordVPN has helped us solve is news. For example, did you know that besides the big names like the New York Times and CNN, the websites for many local papers in the USA are blocked in the UK and EU. NordVPN enables us to stay updated on the news back home, not only with the big names, but also our local newspaper. Well, <laughs> <laughs> like that, that was good. <laughs> Three, two, one. Well, looks like old Randy Johnson is stuck in the doghouse again. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> to help you take advantage of these internet perks and more, NordVPN is offering a limited edition Christmas special. Buy two years of coverage and get 68% off and get four extra months of VPN coverage for free. Basically, this means that you can unlock the internet and free yourself from geoblocking for less than three pounds per month. To lock in your savings, use the tracking link in the video description to get that 68% off and to let NordVPN know that the Ravens sent you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas and happy surfing. And now it's back to the adverts, starting with Waitrose and John Lewis. This was a very creative advert, very well made. Yeah, that was really cute. Next up, we're going to be watching an advert from Barber. And like the DFS one, we have no idea what Barber sells. No. <laughs> By Raymond Briggs. Dear Father Christmas, I want a new bike. And this one, I need oh. a game. That's not the sort of voice you expect to hear from Santa. Dear Father Christmas. Please help me. I've my dad's a and he's really upset. It's like he treasures it. This looks nice. like one of the outfits that the royals wear on the crown when they're up at what's oh, it yeah. called? Balmora Castle? Yeah. Please can you mend my dad's jacket? Crumbs. <laughs> no, Santa's not a tailor. Yeah. Should have one of his elves do it for him. Yeah, they're handymen. Bloomin' old Father Christmas. What kind of dog is this? I don't know. Little mutt. <laughs> South Shields, England. Oh, okay. So they must be coat makers or... Oh, right. Or okay. tailors. That makes sense. You're gonna fix it up. My question is, he's referred to himself as Father Christmas several mm -hmm. times and all his letters have as well. Do you guys just call him Father Christmas rather than Santa Claus? Oh, true. Or do true. you use Santa Claus? Like we'd call him Santa. Mm -hmm. Sorted. Very British. We don't say sorted in the US. 
This one had a very, the snowman feel. Santa mm -hmm. and this looks a lot like uh, the Santa and the snowman. Mm -hmm. I like the, it's very children's bookish. I really yeah, like it. Yeah, very festive. Mm -hmm. Very cute. I like that one a lot. Very cute, very warm and close to the heart. Mm -hmm. Very traditional, very, very traditional Christmas advert. I liked it a lot. Next up, we're going to be watching an advert by Tesco. Isn't Tesco the one that has the best gluten-free shortbread? Yes. Yeah. The best gluten-free shortbread is at Tesco. I gave my sister a really terrible haircut. What if I'm on the naughty list? Yeah, is that a COVID reference? <laughs> I got some pretty bad COVID haircuts. <laughs> but... Too many loo rolls. Another no. COVID reference. Oh, he Ooh. forgot to sing happy birthday when he washed his hands. I didn't hear what he said. He don't, he didn't donate to Captain Tom. Oh, right, oh. Captain Tom. I've gone on holiday. Oh, <laughs> Yes! No naughty list. Right off the bat, that would have to be my favorite one so far. It was actually. gonna be my favorite one too. Wait, it, yeah. it, there can only be one. It's mine! <laughs> this is my favorite one because of all the COVID references. Humor based on pain is the best, and this is definitely based on a lot of pain. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of people can relate to all of these, like yeah. singing happy birthday while you wash your hands. Buying too many loo rolls. <laughs> we know you did it. <laughs> I also enjoyed how many accents there were in that one. Mm -hmm. There wasn't one accent through the whole thing, but I think it represented a bunch of different British accents, which if you've seen our accent reaction videos, you know we love a good accent. Now we're taking a surprising turn across the pond and gonna be reviewing a Amazon advert, but don't worry, this is a UK-based Amazon advert. We've been informed that even though the same advert played in multiple countries, in the UK version of this advert, the voices have been dubbed with uh, British accents. So if you watch this advert in the States, they'll have American accents, Ooh. but if you watch it in the UK, they'll have British accents. Ooh, Ooh ballerinas. Ballet. The star of the Christmas show. I love ballet. <laughs> Watching ballerinas. Oh, it's another COVID advert. Mm -hmm. That's what's most relatable this year, I guess. Zoom, Zoom ballet classes would be tricky. Yeah. Oh, do we have a love interest? <laughs> oh. She's been training so hard though. Little sister to the rescue. Oh, so cute. I couldn't identify that skyline. <laughs> oh. Oh, and he's bought a spotlight for her. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And they're having a show outside. This is a fascinating advert. What do you think of that one? That was so sweet! The little sister, and I love watching the dancing, and how everyone was watching the show from inside of their apartments. That was a really <laughs> cute advert. And from a creative standpoint, I noticed that the, the, the filmmakers went to great trouble to not 
shoot things where you could tell what country it was being shot in. Mm. So when it showed the metro, it never actually showed the metro, so you couldn't identify what country's metro it was. And the streets were very neutral. Mm -hmm. I bet it was shot in America. The few street shots they did show did look like America, um, but vaguely. So they did a good job making it look very country unspecific. Yeah. Now it's time to find our favorites. So which one was your favorite? Oh man, my favorite would still have to be the Tesco advert. I thought that was really, really <laughs> funny, really witty, and very applicable for this year. Like everyone can yeah. relate to all of those things that would have put us on the naughty list for 2020. Same. Again, like I mentioned earlier, I really appreciated how they had so many different British accents represented in one advert. Second place. Second place would have to be the McDonald's advert, actually. That one was just really, really cute. Going to the holiday market, which is mm -hmm. something that I think sadly most of us will miss this year, but it was really nice to get to see just a glimpse of that. Be like, oh yes, the markets <laughs> and all of the things that make Christmas Christmas. And my second place one would be uh, probably Wallace and Gromit, just because it was fun to see Wallace and Gromit. Mm. I like Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> now, of all of them, which one was your least favorite? Ooh, I know. Littles. Oh, that was mine too. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You could see what they were trying to do, but I feel like it was a little bit poorly executed mm -hmm. and too abrupt. Also, I felt like they didn't really take a creative twist on anything. It was more like the carrot part that you said was probably a jab at Aldi's mm -hmm. one. I was like, okay, well that's like, yeah, maybe it's funny, but it's also not super creative. Like you're not coming up with something original, you're just taking something that already exists and throwing yeah. it under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna turn the conversation over to you. Which one of these adverts is your favorite? Which one did you find the least compelling? And of course, if there are any adverts that we missed, make sure you drop those down in the comments so that we can watch them and enjoy them. Also, we're thinking of making a follow-up to this video where we review the greatest British Christmas adverts of all time. For example, many of you have kept recommending, I think it was Sainsbury's Christmas advert that's about World War One or something yeah, like that. Yeah, a 1914 advert. We haven't seen it yet, but you guys keep telling us to watch it. So if that's a video that you'd like to see, please drop your favorite British Christmas adverts of all time in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for weekly British culture content. And if you'd like to see even more British advert videos, make sure you click the link right up here. Again, I'm Eric. And I'm Grace. We're the Wandering Ravens. And we'll see you in the next video. Happy Christmas. <laughs>